the direction, when we talk about direction, one name comes to our mind and that is the Rene Descartes. Rene. Rene Descartes, who was born in 1596 to 1650, was a French mathematician. He discovered something called, something called, let's, let's take his name. What is his name? Cartesian system, we're going to follow the Cartesian system to talk about the direction. So in the Cartesian system, in the 2D plane, so this is a 2D plane, so we're going to call it X and Y, let's call it for now meter and let's call it, um, uh, let's, let's, let's call it quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4 and let's call it East, let's call it West, let's call it North and let's call it South. Alright, East you can call East, instead of East you can call it positive, instead of North you can call it positive, instead of West you can call it negative and instead of South instead of west you can call it negative instead of south you can call it negative also you can definitely call it right you call it you call it up you call it left and you call it down all right for example origin origin when you start the measurement we always start the measurement 99 percent of the time we start measurement from origin which we call 0 comma 0 in 2d plane so in 2d plane is 0 comma 0 in 3d plane is 0 comma 0 comma 0 for example but we never we never we'll never do 3d we always going to keep ourselves 1d or 2d okay now in 2d plane a point for example is x comma y in this right here is negative x comma y in this right here negative x comma negative y and right here x comma negative y. So this is the direction we're going to follow when we're going to talk about scalar versus scalar versus vector quantity. And talking about scalar versus vector quantity, I'm actually going to right now talk about scalar and vector quantity. So let's write scalar versus vector. Scalar gives you only one information, one info. Vector gives you two info, two info. The scalar gives you only magnitude, it's one info, magnitude, and vector gives you magnitude and, 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 and direction. For example, for example, if I, if I, so vector, vector quantity, we always use the, the arrow to represent the vector quantities. Let's draw an arrow. So this arrow has a two part, of course. The red part and the, and the black part. The red part represents the direction, of course, and the black part represents the magnitude. Sometimes we call it size. All right. The scalar only have the magnitude. It does not have the direction. So now, when I talk about the size, I actually mean what I say. For example, if I say 20 meter and 40 meter, so example number one, 20 meter to the east and 40 meter to the east, whose arrow represent 20 meter and whose arrow represent 40 meter. So, so this arrow represent 20 meter and this arrow represents 40 meter is because this arrow twice as big as this one. So as I said that the, the dark part represents the magnitude and the red part represents the direction. So the red is the east and the dark part is the magnitude. This dark part is twice as this dark part because 40 is twice as 20. Now let's talk about all the seven properties of kinematics. Seven properties kinematics. Number one, time. Number two, mass. Number three, 
distance number four displacement displacement you must write it like that number five velocity okay, so you write it like that number six speed and number seven acceleration okay now we're going to divide them in two scalar and vector okay now time is scalar because time gives you only time gives you only the magnitude for example 10 o'clock or 10 a.m or 10 a.m it doesn't have any direction so the time doesn't have direction so that's why time is a scalar mass does not have direction so mass is a scalar distance does not have direction so distance is distance is a scalar displacement has both magnitude and direction so displacement is the vector quantity velocity have magnitude and direction so velocity is velocity is velocity is of course the vector quantity speed does not have direction and the acceleration has direction so acceleration is vector quantity vector quantity you put arrow on the top telling the wall that hey this is vector quantities and you don't put arrows so these represent the scalar quantities now this one is this one is the scalar this one is the magnitude of this vector quantity so distance is the magnitude of displacement okay for example negative 20 meter you can take negative 20 meter is the displacement and positive 20 meter is the distance you got it how can you do it by putting the absolute value by putting the absolute value you make it the positive this one is the scalar version of the velocity for example 10 meter per second negative negative 10 meter per second can example of the velocity you put the absolute value you put the absolute value and then it become the speed so speed is the scalar version of the 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 velocity okay now let's give you some example let's start with distance and displacement versus displacement all right now let's the first question is pay attention so let's let's say this is always x and this is meter so 10 meter 20 meter 30 meter 40 meter 50 meter 60 meter 70 meter so this is 70 meter okay so barry moves to 70 meter and he stops he move around and he stops here right here so what i want you to do i want you to find the distance I want you to find the distance, I want you to find the displacement, and I want to find you to vector. I want you to find the vector. Three things I want to find you. All right, so what is the distance? The distance is, of course, distance is red plus red plus plus the blue is the distance. So now, red plus blue, red is, um, I see red is 70, and blue is, I see, 10, 30. So the distance must be distance must be 100 meters. So what is the displacement? Here is the formula for the displacement: df minus di. So the df is right here, which is 40, and di is right here, which is zero. So it's 40 meter to the east. How do I know this is east? Because this is a positive number. 40 is a positive number. That's how, how, how I know this is east. Now I'm going to draw a vector to show this one so this is the vector and vector has two things the magnitude vector has two things magnitude and vector has direction vector has direction so direction the red part tells us this is east and the magnitude tells us that this is 40 meter okay so the the black part tells you that this is magnitude 40 meter and the red part tells you tells you that this is east let's